Patrick Lavelle with the Vacaville Baseball Barn, Master Instructor with Epstein Hitting System, an online hitting academy. Today I'm going to finish this up with stride for our young player, six, seven, eight years old, or that brand new player just coming in, could be 10, 11, 12 years old. And, and we have two trains of thought, and this is what we actually teach, two different things. One is a no stride, where we get that player's feet as wide as their end seam, or end seam plus two inches. Typically with younger players, it's about the length of their bat. So if you drop that bat on the ground and they put their, the end step to the outside part of the bat, they should be wide enough. If you still notice that it doesn't look like they create an equilateral triangle from base to base and then up the end seams, just move their feet out an inch at a time and you should be able to, to incorporate that. So in that, that's our no stride, and it's essentially where we get the player to gather their weight and shift back in without picking their feet up. This can be carried all the way through the big leagues. Uh, when Albert Pujols first came into the league, what is it now, 15 years ago? He had no stride. He would just barely pick his heel up, drop it, shift his weight on his front leg, and what's he hit now, 600 plus home runs? So a pretty good hitter. May go down as one of the top 20 ever. So as far as the stride goes, this is where you've got to work with your player. This is not about us as coaches saying, do it exactly this way. If a player likes to start with their feet a little bit more narrow and then stride longer, let them do it. This is about building rhythm and tempo with that player. We got to start them younger. If we try to incorporate them and make them all the same, then as they get older, they have a more difficult time trying to change things that are not good. We can do that, we can have an open stance somewhat. I tend to stay away from this with younger hitters. It just takes a little bit more to get back into the plate. The other that you can possibly do, and this would be if you see that my feet are, are pretty much lined up, you can bring the toe in about an inch or so towards the plate. That's a little bit of a closed stance. And then again, you can go from narrow to wide. You can go from wide to wider. You can go from middle to wide. You can even incorporate, try to stay away from the term step, but let's just say leg lift, and all you have is the player basically shifts back and falls right back in the same spot that he has. But be patient with them. Let them experiment and try some things in order to feel comfortable in the batter's box. That's key, that they feel comfortable. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or comments, send them over to me on the channel. Check us out on Facebook. And don't forget, if you need one-on-one -on -one instruction, I can work with you through our online academy.